Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to create new business process flow in D365. So what are business process flow? In business process flow, you can define set of stages and steps that are displayed in control at the top of the form. And also each stage contain group of data steps and each step represent a field where data can be entered. So now as you see in this image, so these are the business process flow and these are the stages in the business process flow and this is the pin of stage layout to the slide pane and these are the step in the active stage and if you want to go to the next stage when you click on the next stage so you go to the next stage of the business process flow now why we use business process flow Business process flow guides work completion and it provides a streamlined user experience, leads through defined organizational process and can be tailored for different security role. Now go back to the system. Now how to create new business process flow. So firstly go to the make.powerapps. Then click on solution. Then click on all. After that, select the solution in which you are working on. So I am working on the testing role. Click on that. Then go to the plus new drop down. As you see here, the automation. Then go to the process as you see here business process flow option so click on that now give the display name of business process flow and then in table in which entity do I want to start the business process flow so we are going to start from lead so they have multiple stages from lead to opportunity to close so in table I will select the lead now as you see here select the lead And then it will move opportunity from the based on that criteria that I have set up. Now click on create button. So as you see here, your test business process flow, then click on that. So it is a simple drag and drop point click type configuration. So here to create multiple stages in business process flow and also we have some condition logic so look at that and I will show how to create it now I am using my component tab and my properties tab so these are the different items so I can drag and drop in the business process flow now here add more stage so go to the component and drag and drop the stage here now in first stage give the display name as details and category a category let you group stages by a type of action it is useful for report that will group record by the stage they are in so click on the drop down of the category and these are the options of the category now in the entity as you see the lead is available then click on the apply button now add data step so go to the details drop down click on the data step one then go to the data field drop down and select the field here so I am selecting the existing account so click on that if you want to require the data field of existing account so click on check will be required 
and if you uncheck the required so this field will be unrequired and this is the sequence of the data step then click on apply button and if you want to add more data step then go to the component and drag and drop the data step here then go to the data field drop down click on that now as you see the data field as city so click on that then click on apply button now as you see here the sequence of the data step should be changed now it is 2 and the data step 1 the sequence is 1 now go to the next stage so here keep the display name as opportunity details now from the entity drop down now here I am selecting the opportunity now as you see here the opportunity is here so click on that then click on apply button now add more data step then go to the details drop down then click on the data step 1 then go to the data field drop down and as you see here the data field as budget amount so click on that then click on apply button and if you want to add more data step then go back to the component tab and in composition so as you see the data step here so simply drag and drop the data step now it is add in the opportunity so go to the data field now here as you see the description data field so click on that then click on apply button now from components drag and drop the condition now here I am giving the display name as condition test now here as you see the fields drop down so click on that now as you see the budget amount field here so click on that then operator is equal and the type is value so here I am giving the value as 5000 click on apply now I am adding more stage so go back to the components and drag and drop the stage here it means if I am giving a budget amount as 5000 so it is moving in this stage otherwise it is moving on this stage so click on this stage and here Give the display name close then click on apply button now in this stage I am adding the data step so click on the details drop down then click on the data step button then go to the data field drop down and select the field here now as you see the complete internal review field so click on that then click on apply button now going back to this stage click on that so here keep the display name as close date then click on apply button now add the data step so go to the details drop down then click on data step 1 then go to the data field drop down now as you see the estimate close date field here so click on that then click on apply button and if you want to add more stage then go back to the components simply drag and drop the stage here 
now give the display name of this stage is close and the entity is opportunity then click on apply button then go to the details drop down and add data step here go to the data field now as you see here complete internal review field so click on that then click on apply button now as you see here this is the mini map to see the whole process as to navigate quickly to a part of process now the status is inactive now here i have add stage step and condition now then click on the save button then click on the activate then click on activate button so now test business process flow is activate so go back to the system so firstly refresh it so right now as you see here the sales app application click on that and then click on three dots now as you see here open in app designer so click on that now on the left side as you see the automation click on that now here i have created a business process flow and that name is the test business process flow as you see here then click on the three dots now click on plus add now it is moving in this app so as you can see here then click on the save button and then click on the publish button and if you want to delete your business process flow then click on your three dots so here as you can see the remove option so click on it so the business process flow should be removed here now go back to the system now firstly refresh it go back to the lead entity then click on plus new button so now creating new lead so right now i am giving the first name and last name of lead then click on save button now as you see here there is the business process flow that i have created and these are the multiple stages in which i have added multiple step of the active stage so here i am giving the existing account as a datum corporation and the city is delhi then click on qualify button now came back to the opportunity details stage so in this budget amount if i am giving 5000 amount so it is visible only one stage because i have applied the condition here when i was creating new business process flow so if i am giving a budget amount as 5000 and the description is test so here as you can see only one stage is visible and if i am giving a budget amount more than 5000 and less than 5000 then it is visible two more stage so here i am giving 7000 now as you can see two more stage is available here in your business process flow so now i am giving the budget amount as 5000 so it 
it is visible only one stage then click on next stage and in the complete internal review drop down click on completed then click on finish button so this is my business process flow so you can create as per your requirement in this video i have covered what are business process flow how to create new business process flow and how to add a stage data step and condition thanks for watching